Dear all, Namaste. In this video, I shall be discussing about modified radical mastodectomy regarding its definition, indications, aims and steps of the surgery. Modified radical mastodectomy or MRM is defined as an operation performed to eradicate disease from the medullary cavity and mastoid in which the mastoid and epitympanic space are converted into an easily accessible common cavity by removing the posterior and superior bony canal walls with preservation of healthy ossicles and TM remnant. This is modified radical mastoid surgery. So, one step before the radical mastoid surgery. I'll be discussing about radical mastoid surgery in the next video. So, in modified radical mastoid surgery, we remove the posterior and superior external bony canal wall, that is canal wall down technique, with preservation of the healthy ossicles and TM remnant. So, we do not remove all the healthy ossicles or whole part of tympanic membrane. If we remove the ossicles as well as the TM, that is called radical mastoid surgery. So, we hope the hearing may be better after surgery or if we can do any hearing preservation techniques. This is the mainstay of modified radical mastoid surgery. Now what are the aims? As like other surgeries, the aim is to eradicate disease from the medullary cleft in order to make the ear safe and dry and to preserve or improve hearing. The important point here is we have to remove the disease from the medullary cleft that is our basic aim and we will try to preserve or improve hearing if possible, we can do tympanoplasty. Usually in MRM, we perform type 3 tympanoplasty that is, we keep the graft over the stipis suprastructure. The indications are CSM atricantral disease with adequate cochlear function that is serviceable hearing. This is very important. When the patient has not serviceable hearing or when the patient's hearing may not be improved or there is very less chance of restoring hearing, then we perform radical mastoid surgery. But if we think the patient's hearing can be improved or preserved, so we perform modified radical mastoid surgery. What are the principles and steps of MRM? First, we perform cortical mastoid surgery, which has been already discussed probably. Then we remove all the accessible diseased mastoid ear cells along with cholesteatoma and granulations because chronic otitis media, squamosal disease or CSMAA basically includes the ears having cholesteatoma and granulation tissue that is CSMAA itself. Then the bony posterior canal is removed or lower that is canal down technique and disease from the medullary cavity is also removed. But normal mucosa of the middle layer, remnant tympanic membrane and healthy ossicles are preserved. Supposing that patient's hearing may improve or hearing may be restored. The mastoid cavity and external artery canal become a single cavity separated by middle layer cavity. So there will be two cavities in the ear. One will be the middle layer cavity and next will be mastoid cavity along with the external artery canal. And we can do cavity obliteration also. The steps. First, perform cortical master surgery. The facial ridge and the facial bridge are broken. Remove the cholesteatoma and granulation tissues from the mastoid ear cells and middle ear cavity. Whatever disease is there, it has to be removed. But preserving the healthy mucosa, tympanic membrane, remnant, and the ossicles. And we have to perform tympanoplasty and congomiatoplasty. So, if we do type 3 tympanoplasty, patient's hearing may come around 30 to 35 decibels. So, a large adequate metaplasty is necessary to create a problem-free cavity. There may be problems with the mastery surgery. I'll be discussing in the next slide. If we perform a large metaplasty, then there will be adequate aeration of the mastery cavity and the disease can be cleaned and can be inspected from outside. So, this is the aim of making a adequate concomiatoplasty. If you like this video, Please subscribe my channel Dr. Krishna Pairala for more videos like this. Thank you.